Alright guys, here she is, wired up, trying to get this video wrapped up before I go to work here. Uh, there is your fist finder mount, fist finder just screws right in there, there's your transducer wire, power wire. I've got it run down in the channel of the boat right there, and of course Gorilla Tape down, keep from slipping, leaves. Just cleaned these leaves out yesterday, but it runs down, and then I've got the tra extra transducer wire wound up there. There's a the power wire that goes to the battery. There's the transducer. I just got it screwed in to that uh, little flat spot there, and then I got it siliconed around those self-tapping screws. Um, just a heads up. For those who are getting ready to do this, let me show you here real quick. I tried to use the, I don't know what the exact name is for it, those little plastic inserts that you, you drill your hole, put your inserts in, then run your screws in to tighten up so they won't pull through. Well, that didn't work. It got about halfway, um, the screw got about halfway down, and then the uh, plastic insert just started spinning and just wanted to jam up and didn't do anything. So I wound up pulling it out, just getting some self-tapping screws, and run that into the uh, side of the boat there. I'm going to have to get some epoxy and fill that up. Uh, fill those two holes up in case we ever take on water. I don't want to <coughs> sink us by getting water in the hole. Um, I think it's going to take quite a bit to do so. But you don't want to test that fake. But again, transducer wire. Power wire coming up. Pull it to the side. There's my mount for my Piranha Max 4DI. Which is in the garage. Um, one thing that I may have to change later down the road, and we get a little bit use on it, is this transducer. The only problem is trying to load this thing by yourself and lift the front end to get it in the truck. 
um, back of my truck, it's a 09 F-150, it sets a little high. So by the time you get the front of the boat up and set on the tailgate to come around here and grab it on the back, the transducer's sitting on the ground. So, I may have to rig something else up and then epoxy those holes. I'm not sure. That little bracket right there that you're looking at was a little tip from Rod and Country. Um, he made a little bracket itself as well. So, uh, I kind of did the same thing. I had a little piece of metal laying around. I just took a grinder and cut some slits in it. Um, and then... Uh, We've got screws with uh, washers and bolts holding it in there, and then of course the self-tapping screws holding it into the boat itself. So, seems pretty secure, it hasn't broke off yet. The, uh, the metal has bent, which is probably a good thing, because it allows some flex there. But uh, yeah, there you go, Pelican Bass Raider 10E. Slowly but surely getting things set up, trying to get these videos done in between work and uh, working on rental properties and everything else. So. Flip you around, get you a full view. Still got several projects to go before I'm done with it, so but that's all right. That's giving the lake a chance to clear out, and uh, I'll be able to get back on the water hopefully here pretty quick. So, thanks a lot. Stay tuned. We'll catch you guys later.